Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take static data with your Hemisphere S321 Plus receiver through the web UI. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm going to choose a Wi-Fi network that belongs to my receiver. So this is going to be the Wi-Fi network with the same name as the serial number on the bottom of my receiver. So I'm just using Windows 10 here. So in my Wi-Fi options, I'm going to choose the correct network. You can do this on iOS or Android. It doesn't matter as long as you can connect to a Wi-Fi network. And once I've connected to that network, I'm going to go to my web browser of choice. In this case, I'm just using Microsoft Edge. You can use any web browser that you want. And I'm going to enter the following web URL. 192.168.10.1 and then I'm just going to refresh the page here and upon doing that it's going to request a username and password so in this case for the Hemisphere S321 Plus the username's admin all lowercase and the password's S321 all lowercase again and once I've entered that information it's just going to bring up my main page here on the web UI so in this page here you can see that my system mode's already set to static so if you don't see that already, what you have to do is head to the top right corner there where it says settings. From my settings window here, I'm going to want to make sure that my system mode is selected as static. If this is not the case, you're going to want to select static, hit save, and then go back into settings here to change any of your other static data settings. So I'm going to scroll down here, just past my constellations and cutoff angle. I don't need to change that in this case. And I'm going to leave my point name as is. My HI I've already measured to two meters. My PDOP threshold I'm just going to leave. And then my interval here is how often the recording takes place. In this case, I'm just going to, I'm just going to change it to 15 seconds. And then the last option there, auto record, you can set to yes or no. So if you have it set to yes, every time you turn on the receiver, it's automatically going to start taking static data. In this case, I don't need that. So I'm just going to leave it as no, and then hit save there at the bottom to change my interval. And now you can see that I got static data set up properly. I've got all my settings right. And now to begin to actually take static data, I'm gonna hit start record there, and it's gonna to begin to take my static point. And then I've left it for a couple minutes here, and I'm gonna hit stop record when I've recorded for an appropriate amount of time. And that's gonna create my static file. And now to download the static file, you're just gonna to head to the third tab there, download. And you can see that I now have a new file with the same name as what I called my point, 5002. And I can just download this from my web browser like I download any other package from a web browser. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about the Hemisphere S321 or what the S321 could do for you, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or you can visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.